Recent advances in space technology have allowed scientists coming from different backgrounds, such as physics, chemistry, biology, and geology to collaborate on studying near-Earth objects such as comets and asteroids. With more powerful telescopes and spacecrafts, the study of comets and asteroids provide more clues about the origins of our solar system. In this video, we will take you on a flyby tour outside the Earth, providing you a closer look at the asteroids, comets, and meteors in space. So let's get started! People have been aware of comets since ancient times. Try to ask your grandfather or grandmother about comets and they might tell you that a comet brings bad luck. Why? Some people believe that comets were bad spirits who took on the appearance of a head of a woman with its long hair streaming behind. To old folks, this was a traditional sign of mourning. Sometimes, to other people, a comet appeared as a sword, which is a sign of war, death, and famine. A comet is a fuzzy luminous big snowball composed of rock dust wrapped around a big ball of ice. They are icy objects. This beautiful sight in the sky moves very slowly and may remain in our sight for weeks before fading out of view. A comet enters a huge elliptical orbit. Each time the comet passes close to the sun, it loses some of its material. When it returns to the distant part of the solar system, it gradually appears smaller and dimmer. Over time, it disappears completely. In some cases, the comet may have a solid rocky core that is then left to continue traveling around its orbit as a dark barren asteroid. As it gets closer to the sun, it becomes visible because the heat of the sun melts the ice of the comet and turns it to gas. This gas becomes the coma, which wraps and hides the nucleus from our view. The nucleus is the center of the comet made of frozen water. The nucleus and the comet together are called the head of the comet. They become bigger and bigger as more gas and dust are released from the comma. The solar wind blows more and more gas from the comma, causing it to form a tail, which, in some comets, can reach up to 150 million kilometers in length. Most comets are thought to originate from a huge cloud called the Oort Cloud, which is too far away for astronomers to see. There is no evidence that a comet has ever crashed into Earth. However, it is one possible explanation for the extinction of dinosaurs. The hypothesis is that a large comet or asteroid crashed into our planet and triggered a chain of disastrous events like earthquakes and tidal waves, causing radical changes in the climate and eventually wiped out the dinosaurs. Now that we're done discussing about comets, let's talk about meteors. A meteor is also called a falling star or shooting star. A meteor is observed when a meteoroid passes through Earth's atmosphere and burns up in the process. When meteors hurtle through the layer of air surrounding Earth, friction caused by the molecules of gas that make up our planet's atmosphere heats them up, and the meteor's surface begins to warm up and glow. Eventually, the heat and high speed combine to vaporize the meteor, usually high above the Earth's surface. The visible light produced by a meteor may take on various hues, depending on the chemical composition of the meteoroid and the speed of its movement through the atmosphere. The color of meteors depend on the relative influence of the metallic content of the meteoroid versus the superheated air plasma, which is brought about by its passage. Orange-yellow for sodium, yellow for iron, 
blue-green for magnesium, violet for calcium, and red for atmospheric nitrogen and oxygen. So what's the difference between a meteoroid, meteorite, and a fireball? They're all related to the flashes of light called shooting stars, sometimes seen streaking across the sky. But we call the same object by different names, depending on where it is. Meteoroids are objects in space that range in size from dust grains to small asteroids. Think of them as space rocks. When meteoroids enter Earth's atmosphere, or that of another planet, at high speed and burn up, the fireballs, or shooting stars, are called meteors. When a meteoroid survives a trip through the atmosphere and hits the ground, it's called a meteorite. Here are some interesting facts about meteors. Did you know that there are millions of meteors in the Earth's atmosphere every day? Meteors can become visible as high as 120 kilometers above Earth. If a meteor produces a sound called a sonic boom, it is typically heard seconds after the meteor becomes visible. Meteors are usually the size of pebbles and no larger than a baseball. Although meteors have existed since ancient times, they were not believed to be from our solar system until 1833. Asteroids are simply rocky or metallic objects that orbit the Sun in the same way that planets orbit. Asteroids are hard to see because they reflect little light and they are always on the move. Asteroids come in all sizes and shapes. Some are as tiny as pebbles and some are as big as mountains. Since they are smaller than planets, they are often called minor planets or planetoids. Ceres, which was once considered the largest asteroid, is now classified as a dwarf planet. It is about 940 kilometers in diameter. Can you imagine how huge that is? Nearly all asteroids are irregular in shape and heavily pockmarked by impact craters. Only a handful of the largest members possess enough gravity to pull them into spherical shapes. Many asteroids orbit the Sun in a region between Mars and Jupiter. This area is called the asteroid belt. They follow a slightly elliptical path as they orbit the Sun in the same direction as the planets. A larger object, such as a planet, may pull an asteroid out of orbit. If it were not for the giant planet Jupiter pulling the asteroids outward, large asteroids would constantly bombard Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Earth. Now let's wrap things up. Comets, asteroids, and meteors are considered as celestial objects that orbit around the Sun. They come in different sizes and shapes. Asteroids are small rocky objects that orbit the Sun. They are smaller than a planet, but they are larger than the pebble-sized objects we call meteoroids. Comets orbit the Sun like asteroids, but comets are made of ice and dust, not rock. A comet has three parts, the nucleus, head, and a tail. A meteor is what happens when a meteoroid a small piece of an asteroid or comet burns up upon entering Earth's atmosphere, creating a streak of light in the sky. That's all for now. See you on our next video and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.